Have you ever wanted to have a build that made you feel invincible? That you could just take a lot of damage and feel like you were playing on maybe hard or even normal? Well, this is what this build makes you feel. You have a lot of incoming damage you're seeing right here. And it's really not affecting me, right? Like, it's not really bothering me. I'm still able to take these guys out. And I'm going to be running double shotties with this build. And if you guys want to try other weapons, you guys can. But I'm having fun. Just just look at this. Just It's like they can't even get me down to half health. And I'll tell you, if you guys want to use the secondary shotgun, and the reason why I have it is because when I do get in those very very tough situations it gives me that armor back that i really need instantly but most of the time i'm just running around with this one right here and just look at this literally running up to these enemies and they're not doing anything so we're gonna pull up on these guys here boom Ooh. just look at it. just look at that like that was a lot like if we were playing this without this build right you guys would be taking a whole bunch of damage. I would be taking a whole bunch of damage. And, and that's why I set it up. So at points when I pick up those trophies, I'm able to one to two shot those enemies, right? Just look at this. Two shots to that, boom, boom. You see how much damage I'm taking? Like I'm taking a lot of damage, but it's barely moving my armor bar. And well, that's what this build is all about. Survivability and still being able to take out these enemies pretty easy. So what we'll do is we'll get into the build and also show you some more gameplay. I actually have two rogue agents that pop up on the map right after a control point. And guess what? I literally was able to face tank them. And that's what I'll show you in just a second. But let's start with the build. So for this build, we are running the technician specialization and you'll find out pretty quick why, because we need that linked laser pointer to help us proc flatline and not only that, but also help us proc spotter. And you'll see in a second how I have the build set up. If you guys were watching any of that gameplay prior to this, you can see the survivability is there. And it all has to do with how I have this build specced out. So for the weapons, I am running two shotguns. Now, the one that I really like is this custom M870. Now this is gonna give me weapon damage, shotgun damage, damage to armor, and damage to targets out of cover. Not only that, we have flatline, so it amplifies weapon damage by 15% to pulse enemies. So that means every enemy I shoot, they'll have amplified damage, right? So that's why I like it. Now I have the secondary as the mop. The reason why is because this one has an attribute on there of 10% armor on kill. If I get in those areas where I'm about to maybe lose a little bit too much armor because taking a little bit too much damage, well, I can hit a couple of these off real quick and I'm right back in the action. And that's typically all you really need. And also have flatline on here. So it's gonna get that 15% amplified weapon damage so for the mask i'm running the chill out mask it's gonna give me five percent total armor i'm sitting about 1.6 million we have armor on here we have crit damage ideally if you really want to you guys can actually stack headshot damage throughout the whole build now we have 13 percent protection from elites and we have 12 percent protection from elites right here so yes you might have noticed that those elites weren't really doing too much to us so we just had to focus on those red or purple enemies and that's what this build does. It actually helps out protecting you from those gold enemies. So it makes these harder difficulties pretty easy if you guys want something to give you some type of survivability. So for the chest piece, we're running the closer chest piece. is going to give us another 5% total armor. So that's total 10% um, percent total armor on the build, right? We have 15% weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, and we have 12% protection from elites. Plus, we're running perfect spotter, amplifies total weapon damage and skill damage by 20% to post enemies. Ideally, we're going to be pulsing everybody right because we have that link laser pointer on the rifles themselves so we constantly have spotter and flatline active so a lot of amplified damage on the build for the holster we have the ammo dump holster this is the holster you need to craft um the reason why i picked this one it gets it's a badger tough holster so we get a 10 percent shotgun damage we have armor rolled on here if you feel like you have too much armor you could probably drop this to weapon damage we also have ammo capacity right but we have crit chance and crit damage on here like I said, if you want to, you could experiment with doing headshot damage. But I like this build because I can hit body shots 
or headshots and obviously I'm still going to drop them pretty quick. For the knee pads, we have improvised knee pads. Now you have to craft this one. This one has armor on here. We have crit chance, crit damage, and we have 12% protection from elites. The reason why you want the improvised piece on here is because it gives you another mod slot, allowing me to stack 12% protection from elites. So that's gonna get me closer to that cap. For the gloves, we have our second piece of improvised. You need to craft this one. This one has weapon damage, crit damage, crit chance, and then look, another 12% protection from elites. So yeah, another pretty solid piece. I can increase the weapon damage on this build and increase the crit chance if I just fully um, optimize this piece. And then for the backpack, we're in a momental backpack. I think this works great with this build because we have weapon damage, armor, skill tier. We have 12% protection from elites. And then look, kill confirm. Enemies will kill drop a, a trophy on death. Collecting trophies provide a buff of short-term and long-term buff. The first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped last 10 seconds. Now that's gonna give us 5% weapon damage for every red core, so that means on this build we'll get 15% weapon damage, we'll get 40% bonus armor, and then 5% skill efficiency. But what's even better about this is look, for every trophy collected, you gain additional 1% weapon damage, so that means we're gonna have 30% extra weapon damage on this build, 30% skill efficiency, so that's gonna help not only my shield, but my defender drone, and then 3% armor region, allowing us to really survive. And then that's what this is all about, survivability. If we go over to the stats, you'll see on the weapon itself, we have 36% crit chance, 102% crit damage, 65% headshot damage. Now, like I said, if you guys hit all headshots, well, you guys could probably drop the crit damage down and go with the headshot damage on all the pieces if you guys want to try it out we have 12 percent armor damage plus we have that 10 percent damage targets out of cover because we have that rolled on the weapon itself we go down to defense 1.62 sorry 1.6 million armor and then look at this protection from elite 73 percent so that is why we're able to survive and it looks like they're not even hitting it looks like i'm playing on challenging really right they barely do any damage i'm just surviving and surviving and that's what this build is all about so you guys saw in the gameplay Definitely a build that you guys can make around. You guys can mix match these pieces. If you guys don't have the chill out mask, you guys can go out and try to find other pieces for this build, right? So like if you don't have the chill out mask, well then you might just have to run uh, improvised holster. Like if you don't have some of these pieces, mix match them and I'm sure you'll be able to still come up with a lot of the same results. But yeah, this build makes you feel invincible. And that's honestly why I like it. Like you guys just saw, just literally took out some rogue agents and I was literally right in front of them without a shield, right? Dude was literally popping me. And you guys know when those rogue agents hit you with a shotgun, you feel it, like your armor disappears. And it was like little chunks. It was like he was just hitting me with like a pistol and I was surviving. And it, look at this, look at these guys right here. You see this damage that's coming in? The survivability is there, and that's why protection from elites is so good. Now, I will tell you, what you wanna do is make sure you focus those red and purple enemies, because those guys aren't elites, so those guys will still hit hard. So if you get five gold guys and one red guy, focus the red one. The same thing if you get maybe a purple, a red, focus those guys first. And then obviously you're gonna focus on the elites, right? The the gold enemies or the named enemies, focus on those guys afterwards because you guys, you have so much protection from elites on this build and you have a decent amount of armor. And then also you have the armor regen kicking in because of the Momento backpack. It just works really good together. And I feel that this build is a monster to be honest. And I'm actually gonna show you an area where the armor region kicks in, the protection from elites actually saves me. In this situation right here, I'm gonna actually take this guy out, but then a bunch of them are gonna come out of that door. And you're gonna see, just watch this. After I kill this guy right here, I'm gonna turn around and just so many of them come out, they end up eating up my armor, my bonus armor. Like, right, right look, 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 look how many of them. But, but that's a lot of damage, right, that I'm taking. And my biggest issue was I couldn't finish one off, right? Because I couldn't get that bonus armor. But look, because I had that protection from elites, that bonus armor stayed alive. And then when I needed to use that shield, I could. But you see how I could put the shield away right away? I have just a little bit of armor, but the bonus armor stays up because they can't get through it because of the protection from elites. So that's what's cool about this build. And then I finally show you guys the secondary. That's gonna give me that 10% armor on kill. Look at that, boom, boom. That's 10, that's 20, 
And then I'm at full armor right here. And then I can just focus this guy right here. He can't do nothing. Like he, he's, he's literally struggling on the bonus armor. And I go back to my primary. And that's the build, guys. That, that's what's actually cool about it. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. Hey, appreciate the support. Appreciate the love as always, guys. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys haven't subscribed to both my channels, highly recommend checking them out because they both have different content. And hopefully you guys enjoy everything that's posted on both of them. But yeah, definitely check out both channels. Nothing but skills and nothing but skills 2.0. But I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Thanks again for the support. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, hey, nothing but skills out. Take it easy, everybody.